I believe this dumbass manager just contradicted herself. But I right, hold on. Y'all tell me what y'all think. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Has anybody ever heard of, be, you know, going to a low... All right, now, y'all listen to what she so told us about d and Nation. And do y'all remember many, what she told her daughter? Do you remember the story with the whole thing with them, that they wanted to go ahead and start over? How do you start over? You do things differently. How do you do things differently? You make deeper commitments. You make people... Really understand that you're serious. How do you make people understand that you're serious? You do serious stuff like get married, all right? First of all, why are we surprised that they got married? They have kids, they have finances, they have businesses, they have you do serious stuff like get married, all right? First of all, why are we surprised that they got married? They have kids, they have finances, they have businesses, they have house, they have stuff that married people have. I'm glad- all right, now, did you hear what she just said? And did you hear what she said to her daughter? So, it was a problem with her daughter trying to get back with the um her child's father. Like you just said, people have kids, people have this, people have that. So now, it, it was a problem with your daughter trying to get with somebody. But it's okay for a DMB nation to try to get together, to work things out. So why couldn't your daughter work things out with her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend or father of her child? They got kids together or whatever. They had problems just like the NBA Nation had problems. So it's not okay for your daughter to get back with her child's father, but it's okay for Damien Bianca to work things out and not okay for your daughter to work things out. Like, come on now, you contradicting yourself. Like, you fucking stupid, dog. <laughs> oh, let's continue this shit. <laughs> So that's one of the things that everybody seemed to be talking about is fake. Who fakes getting married for you all to watch a YouTube video? Nobody. It's not that serious. This is their lives. They have committed themselves to being vloggers. They have committed themselves to being YouTubers, meaning that they will allow you guys to come into their life. I have said this 50 million times, but don't nobody listen to me. But my point is simply this. I hope you guys enjoyed what you all saw up until the big all right, fight. Ladies, now, yes, everybody want to talk about I'm done with you. Hold on. What you got to say? Big fight. First of all, let me explain. Oh, no. We're done with you. All right. Peace. 
This your boy LB. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all want to see more content like this, please subscribe. But this is a dumbass manager, and she just contradicted herself. Look at this bullshit. Look, look at her subscribers. She just had forty nine thousand subscribers. She just had forty nine subscribers. She had forty nine subscribers for one whole month, and she gained over what? Uh, hold on, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, over five thousand subscribers in less than five hours, six hours. Like, come on now, it was all that fake ass shit. Was all a lie just for her to get subscribers. Like, this shit so damn fake, dog. So fucking fake. And she a fucking clown. A fucking liar, dog. But alright, that's it, man. I'm done, dog. Cause shit's stupid.